this video. Before I start this video, I just want to say, y'all, I hope I encourage one person in this video to really reflect and think on why they should go to therapy. And I hope you clicked on this video for a reason. I hope God led you to this video. And I'm just praying blessings over this video and um, connections over this video, networking and mind-blowing and life-changing events that come from this video. So without further ado, let me start the video back to the sunshine way i am your lovely 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 host kaya and welcome back to my channel in today's video as you can tell by the title you already heard what we was going to be talking about why you need to get to therapy or a therapist all right and why i chose to start therapy myself and like what kind of led me there and my reasons to why this is going to be a quick short video um, I will do a more in-depth, detailed video about the certain situations that led up to that, um, when the time is right and when I'm in a place for that, but I just wanted to give y'all kind of like five general rules of like, if this is going on with you, then maybe you should go to therapy. So, without further ado, say, and on Wednesdays, I go to my therapy sessions. And I don't really go to them and like lay on somebody's couch, but I've been doing them virtually, so out of the comfort of my own home. And no, this is not sponsored by anybody because I'm not even on that level yet. But I do it from the comfort of my own home just because that's just kind of the way it works out. I don't get out of school until 4.30, so there's not a lot of options for me to go talk to someone uh, super late. Um, so that's just what I do. So today is actually Wednesday and I just finished my therapy session and I just had this idea because I kind of feel like I'm in a place where I can kind of give y'all a general idea of things that were going on that led me to choosing to do therapy that I can give y'all um, so that you can kind of deal with yourself and like think internally and mentally and spiritually how you feel and see where you at to see if you need to be taking that route so the first thing that I have is grief if you have a substantial amount of grief um, then it would be good and wise to seek um, wise counsel and therapy personally my company and therapists are um, Christian and so I know that they are faith based and stuff like that um so i know that they have kind of like that reality side and spiritual side because you know a lot of things are spiritual um that we deal with and so that they can tap into that thing but if you are having a substantial amount of grief whether you lost somebody close to you or you're dealing with a really difficult relationship because that's where I was like I had lost my grandmother and then I was in a situation where I was dealing with a relationship that was causing me like a substantial amount of pain and so that led me to like get therapy the second thing that I would say is to if you notice that you're kind of all over the place all, all over the place whether that may be your feelings or your career decisions and you kind of feel like you're just having a hard time placing your finger on direction first of all I will uh, always always tell you to pray about it and to think about it but also it'll be good to see a therapist because you can combine with wise counsel to think about like okay let's narrow it down let's figure it out so if you feel that whether it's your career choices or just in general your feelings or certain relationships that you're choosing are all over the place or things are inconsistent or you're trying to narrow down then it would be wise to seek a therapist to help you narrow down what is going on and that is just a beautiful thing like to finally feel like you can kind of see okay this maybe is the path or this is what I was really feeling the third thing that leads me to my third thing my third thing would be to be if you feel that you're not sure how to deal with yourself you have a hard time seeing having a hard time seeing yourself it's like you kind of like you kind of either need somebody to check you and be like, mm, yeah, girl, it's you. 
It's you. It's you, child. <laughs> it's you. If you need somebody to do that, or if you need somebody to kind of get you to kind of get out of, because believe it or not, you can have the most great bringing up. You can be have the most loving family, but everything that everybody do is not correct. So you can have some bad habits or not a wide view or an open mind view of how other people think and how other people feel. So if you need somebody to kind of just open it up of like, okay, you know that smoking cigarettes ain't right, but, and you'll say, no, 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 no. And I'm just using cigarettes as an example. Don't smoke cigarettes ever. But the other person grew up around people smoking cigarettes and so to them it's of the norm right and so you need somebody to kind of tell you like hey think about the fact that they was raised with parents who smoke cigarettes i'm just again just using cigarettes as an example but like literally you got to really take that into consideration and really think about that and so if you need somebody to kind of like pull you together and like get you to see things from other people's point of view or just kind of correct you so you can correct yourself. Because believe it or not, nobody's perfect. Believe it or not, nobody got all day T's crossed in that eye. Now you might be, like me, 96% together. But that 4%, baby, it pops out. And oh, baby, it ain't good. So, you know, if that's what you need, that's what you need. So those are... Also, mm, my fourth thing. I was about to say that's it. There was one more thing that led me to get in therapy. Or two more things. Two more things that led me to get in therapy. One being me needing help identifying things that may have triggered my personality as an adult from my childhood that in my brain was normal or in my brain was always the feeling and I didn't never even recognize that like if you need help with that because sometimes we don't even realize that we experience trauma or sometimes we don't realize that the smallest thing or the smallest inconvenience had a really in detailed effect on us or we might not realize that it has trickled over into our relationships, whether that be work relationships or romantic relationships or relationships with our children or whatever the case may be. Like, we sometimes don't even realize it because it has become normal. Negative things have become normal. And so, I need to help with that. And the last thing would be spirit spiritual. So... You know, as me, I grew up in the church, of course. I've always went to church, and I've never went to any denominational churches. Um, so, I know about having a relationship with Jesus and talking to God and doing devotion. Like, I know all these things, but because I was raised in it, I want to permanently um, investigate and identify how I know and feel when it comes to God and not that as an adult I've only relied on what I learned as a child from my mom and dad but a heavy part of it relied on that or a heavy because I was in literally one church for majority of my life some of my ways of thinking are only that way and um I don't know it's just like some things God intended to be in a different way and God has a different plan for all of our lives and so that has to be accounted for and taken into thought so that is all of the things that led me to go to therapy and that I honestly feel like if that is anything that you are dealing with it would be wise and at least worth it tapping into it to be a better version of you to be more mentally and spiritually aware and to just kind of tap in into like the person that God truly wants you to be because he wants us to heal he wants us to grow and he wants us to like 
attach that to other people or like you know give that blessing give that gift to other people and be that light for other people and so why wouldn't we put ourselves in the best position to be a light for someone else so if you are dealing with a bunch of grief or a substantial amount of grief whether it's death or a straining painful relationship if you're dealing with you know you need somebody to tell you girl you tripping you need somebody to tell you um you know how to see it from other people's point of view then it'd be worth looking into if you need um help with you know your spiritual spiritual journey and loving god and finding out who god is it will be worth it if you feel all over the place and your feelings all over the place your decisions all over the place you don't know what career you want you 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 don't know what you identify and your purpose in life it might be worth tapping into it just because i'm not saying that a therapist knows all the answers and they know everything just because they went to school for it or because they've been doing it for it or whatever because like i'm saying that it is nice to have somebody to look at it from a different view. And it is nice to have someone to kind of help you talk through that back part, that subconscious part that we don't really tap into. Um, it's nice to have somebody who can straighten you out without you feeling so personally offended because they're your family or they're your friend. Um, or they don't know you at all, so why they even trying to come for you? Like, it's nice. It's a safe space to be to be vulnerable and to really get to know yourself and peel apart the layers of yourself so that you can be a better version of you for you for God for your family for your job for your life for your purpose you know what I'm saying so that's all I got for this video I hope I encourage at least one person to go to therapy because y'all is I I believe that it's worth it and I'm vouching for that and I know in the community <laughs> of African American black people um, you know I was told not to say people of color but people of color um, Hispanics like that people are literally taboo against therapy but like I literally just gave y'all five reasons I just gave you five reasons and I hope you take those and do what you want to do with them so without further ado if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you tap 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 the notification bell so you can be notified every time you go upload and remember be humble y'all be humble please be humble that's one of the only things that we barely hold on to be humble be inspiring and be kind y'all and don't forget to shine i see y'all on the next one peace Bye!